Alright, so the mesh has finished. As you can see, we've got a pretty nice mesh here. Uh, the super dark line is right at the boundary between the steam and the wall. And you can see it's very fine there from the prism layer and it gets a little coarser uh, as it gets toward the middle of the channel to capture the boundary layer. So we, we, that mesh looks pretty good for this uh, introductory project. Let's run the simulation. So we just do that by coming up here. And I, I think I'm going to, after thinking about it while it was meshing, I think we're going to change the, um, the inlet to be um, smaller. Since this is a pretty short tube, we're going to change it to about half a meter per second see how that goes. So we're going to run it. This is currently running on uh, 24 processors. And this is the residuals plot. We can, we've talked about that in previous videos. Let's open the scalar scene to see how it's going. Oh, and it's not updating. So you know what, just for the purposes of illustration, I'm going to change that. I deleted the um, I deleted the the solution. I'm going to make sure it was it was displaying last surface, um, which sometimes happens if you make the scalar scene before you actually start running it. So make sure we want it to display the volume mesh. Um, there it is. All right, and let's just double check which side is the inlet. There it is. Perfect. So we can go ahead and execute that. Let's initialize. All right, so it's initializing at 300, and then boom, it's coming in at 400, and it's pretty cool to watch that update. Let's see how the how it changes. Zoom in here a little bit. All right, so we can check the residuals and see that they're starting to drop pretty well, except for that energy residual. Um, but we can see it's starting to look pretty converged. I don't think it's changing at all anymore. This is a very simple simulation, um, so you wouldn't expect this to take very long. You know, sometimes I just run it for a thousand iterations just to be sure, but um, depending on the comp complexity of the simulation, uh, once the residuals start flatlining like this, you can usually be pretty sure that it's converging as long as that matches with the results uh, remaining fairly unchanged. Um, it's often a good idea to make a separate report, such as, you know, average boundary temperature between the two, between the two regions, and plot that and make sure you see that asym asymptotically approaching a limit. Um, that's another way to check for convergence. So, but this is looking pretty converged, so I think we're going to call it. Um, and there you have it. To make this simulation more interesting, I would probably make the, the annulus longer and the steam channel smaller so you could see more of that temperature difference um, through, through the whole like along the length of a longer tube. But there you have it. That's the basics of um, creating a, a steam channel inside of a, an aluminum annulus.